Scriptures for Overcoming Fear and Anxiety Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, seek to pray to God with thanksgiving and present your requests to God about the things that you are anxious about. And the peace of God, which transcends all your understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. John 14 verse 1 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and trust in His help for you. Matthew 6 verse 34 Do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own to be thinking about. Just think about what you are doing with God now, instead. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Cast all your anxiety on God, because He cares for you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 35 verse 4 Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will help you. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my work upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, trusting in my help for you. For my work is easy and my burden is light for you. Psalm 94 verse 19 When anxiety was great within me, your spiritual comfort brought me joy. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through Jesus who gives me his strength to do them. Proverbs 12 verse 25 Anxious thoughts weighs down the heart, but a kind encouraging word cheers it up. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace of mind those whose minds are focused on you and who trust in you. Matthew 6 verse 27 Can any one of you by worrying really change anything by worrying? Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 for I am convinced that neither death or life, neither angels or demons, neither the present or the future, or any powers, neither height or depth, or anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere people do to me? Matthew 6 verses 31 to 32 
So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the unbelievers in God run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them, and will provide them for you. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. Hebrews 13 verses 5 to 6 Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere weak, created people do to me? Zephaniah 3 verse 17 The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. He will comfort you with his love and will rejoice over you with singing. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and I will vindicate that you were right, declares the Lord. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of your enemies, for the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go and he will never leave you or forsake you. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way, and always be with you. Matthew 10 verse 31 Fear not, because, like God takes care of the birds, so will he take care of you. For you are much more valuable to God than many sparrows are to him. John 3 verse 16 For God loves you so much that he gave his most precious son Jesus for you. Romans 8 verse 32 If God did not spare his most precious son Jesus for you, how will he not also with him? freely give you everything else you need. Hebrews 10.23 For God who promises you is faithful to fulfill whatever he promises you. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 The Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from Satan. Luke 12 verse 32 Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you his kingdom. Isaiah 43 verse 1 But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, he who formed you, fear not, for I have freed you from your slavery. I have called you by name, you are mine now. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 13 for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, God. I trust in you, God, and I will not be afraid. 2 Corinthians 1, 13-4
Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid with me. Colossians 3 verse 15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, and be thankful to him. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 4 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 e 9 We are hard pressed on every side by troubles, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Psalm 42, verse 11 Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, choose to think about such things. Psalm 119 verse 165 Great peace have those who love your good laws. Nothing can make them stumble. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Philippians 4 verse 9 What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you, like he is with me. John 16 verse 24 Jesus said, My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Ask my Father for what you need in my name, and you will receive it from him, so that your joy will be full. Ephesians 5 verse 18 Be filled with God's Holy Spirit. Luke 11 verse 13 Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit, and he will. Your heavenly Father will give his Holy Spirit to those who ask him for it. Galatians 5 verse 22 The emotional fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, and peace. Proverbs 17 verse 22 A joyful heart is a good medicine for troubled emotions. 1 Corinthians 7 verses 32 to 34 I want you to be free from anxieties. The unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how to please the Lord. But the married man is anxious about worldly things, how to please his wife, and his interests are divided. Psalm 37 verses 3 to 5 Trust in the Lord and do good. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. 
Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act to make your way successful. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Psalm 62 verses 5 to 8 For my hope is from God. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a place of safety a refuge for us. Philippians 4 verse 19 God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Matthew 10 verses 19 to 20 When they deliver you over to the rulers, do not be anxious about what you are supposed to say to them. For what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak to them, but the Holy Spirit speaking through you. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lack wisdom about anything, you should ask God for it, and he will generously give it to you. Psalm 34 verse 18 The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he can comfort and heal them. Psalm 27,1-3 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident that my God will help me. Exodus 14 verse 14 Do not fear your enemies, just be still and the Lord will fight them for you. Matthew 28 verse 20 Jesus said, I am always with you. Luke 10 verse 19 Jesus said, I have given you authority to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall harm you with me. Psalm 4 verse 8 In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. God is our place of safety and strength, our ever-present help in our times of trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth trembles and the mountains crumble into the sea, and its waters roar around us. 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 16 to 17 Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 18 For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, 
We who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore encourage one another with these words. John 14 verses 1 to 3. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. I am going there to prepare a place for you there. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Revelation 21 verses 1 to 5 Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true.